Back in the summer of 22, I was eagerly awaiting the delivery of my Ford Lightning. A few months earlier, I had discovered a startup called Aptera that was going to produce an SEV, or solar electric vehicle, that would be capable of capturing 40 miles worth of energy a day from built-in solar panels. I put in a reservation for one, but the juxtaposition of the two vehicles, each one on different ends of the efficiency spectrum, just stuck in my head like a problem I wanted to solve. The Lightning was surely more efficient than a gas truck, even more efficient than other electric trucks on the market, but not efficient enough to power significantly by solar. Or was it? I realized the limiting factor in making the Lightning a solar-powered vehicle was time. Given enough time for collection, solar could be used to power the truck, not in quite the same way as the Aptera, but in a still meaningful way. It just required the resetting of expectations. I likened it to the cultural change in attitude to value slow food over fast food, making an intentional effort to enjoy the process of doing something as well as the result, and taking further enjoyment in the idea that you are conserving resources and leaving less of a carbon footprint. So I came upon a plan to add a solar collection system to the Lightning, which could supply enough power to extend overland excursions, possibly indefinitely, by spending more time in each location, essentially enough time to recharge the traction battery enough to move on to the next stop. I loaded a DZ truck bed box with a solar controller, AC inverter, and 48 volt, 13 amp hour battery. I wasn't sure if I would be able to charge a 13 amp hour battery at a rate of 20 amps, so I made an optional case with two additional batteries that can be plugged into the system. The truth is, there is a lot of wasted space in this assemblage of off-the-shelf components, and I'm sure a purpose-built system could contain everything in one pork chop box. But as it is, the two boxes mount on the side of the bed, still leaving plenty of room for storage of other gear. Next, I wanted a really compact, relatively lightweight solar array that could be unfolded at a site to augment the always exposed panels mounted on the rack over the cab and the rooftop tent. I achieved this by stringing them out on retractable lines, 1000 watts worth of panels in addition to the 590 watts on the cab and tent shell. My intent was for the panels to swing out of the way to both allow access to the truck bed and so the extended solar array, or what I call the solar hammock, could be run down alongside the truck for camping in tight spaces. To be able to switch between using the panels in the folding array and bypassing them, I created a switch box I call the Octo Switch, where the one position only includes rooftop panels while the truck is in motion, and the two position includes all panels while the vehicle is stationary. Unfortunately, the knobs I chose don't quite support the weight of the unit, which is about 50 pounds, nor does the unit completely clear the side of the bed. I'm thinking a telescoping mechanism and maybe some gas struts will help for some future design improvements. However, as it is, I can deploy all the panels at a site and collect a max, so far, of 1150 watts at a time, or 7 kilowatt hours in a day. I have a previous video where I bench tested this. See the link in the description below. What's left now is to take this setup on some adventures and see how it works in the real world. Who knows, maybe some of you watching this video will get interested in doing the same thing, and we would start to have a community of people traveling in the backcountry using solar as a power source for our electric vehicles and leaving little to no environmental footprint. This was a fun and somewhat challenging project to work on, but I am pleased with how it turned out. And I thank everyone who's watched the video so far. And I want to ask if you enjoyed this content and if you would like to see my future videos, please like and subscribe and hit the notification button. And thank you for watching.